Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Mess With Michelle. So it's almost nightfall and I'm ready to clean up my kitchen, so I thought I'd take you along and show you my regular cleaning routine that I do after dinner at night. So here's a quick look of what the kitchen looks like beforehand. We had a really great meal, but there's always a big mess to clean up afterwards. So before I can have any relaxing time after supper, I wanna just get this kitchen strained up, wash my dishes, so this way I can wake up to a really nice, clean kitchen. If you're returning back to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for coming by once again to hang out with me, this time for a nighttime clean with me. And anyone who's discovering my channel for the first time, I wanna welcome you. You can find cleaning motivation, how-to videos, and DIYs on this channel. So if you haven't already done so, I would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button so I can take you on my messy journey. I've been using my Swedish dishcloths for about a couple weeks now and I absolutely love them. I love using them for my countertops, just wiping them down as well as my kitchen table, but especially for my dishes. They're really nice and soft and I just like that they're lightweight and they're super absorbent. So really happy with the purchase and I'm really happy that I decided to make the move to start using these because they're a great alternative to paper towels as well. So if you're interested in it, I'll leave a link below to my video where I talk about all the things about Swedish dishcloths so you can learn about them yourself, but definitely a great buy. So if you're wondering what those claws are, I have in my hands. They're actually called bear claws and they're used to shred meat. So if you have pulled pork and you need to shred it very finely, you just take those claws in each hand and you can shred the meat really easily. And we just use that this evening for the chicken because we had hot chicken sandwiches with gravy. But um, they're bear claws, they look kind of cool and they feel kind of cool when you're wearing them because you look like Wolverine, but um, very handy to have, especially if you were big on barbecuing. They're perfect um, when you have larger pieces of meat that you want to rip apart and this way you don't have to worry about messing up your hands or touching really hot meat when you're trying to shred it. There's one thing I have to do with both this dishwasher and that is buy a new cutlery basket because there's so many broken areas on the bottom where all the cutlery slides right through. There's been so many times when I placed in a knife and it slides all the way to the bottom and then I push in the rack at the bottom and I can't put it in any further because there's a knife blocking it. So I have to fish around all the dirty cutlery so it drives me crazy. Let me know down in the comments, do you prefer to put your cutlery facing down or do you have it facing upwards? I don't know if there's really a right way of doing it. Let me know, I'm curious to know because there's a lot of debate which is the right way to put it into the basket. So I'd love to know your opinion. So I've been using Dawn's Power Wash over the last few months and I still have a bit left over, but it's not something I typically reach for when I'm washing my dishes on a regular basis. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Dawn Liquid Dish Soap with warm water just to break up any grease or grime. It's just my go-to. Maybe I'll buy it again in the future, the Power Wash, but right now once this bottle's done, I probably wouldn't buy it for a while unless I have like a really big need for it, but the regular Dawn just suits me fine. So let me know down in the comments, have you used the Power Wash? Let me know your thoughts on how it performed. I just find that the warm water and dish soap with soaking my dishes does just as good of a job as the spray. As you can see, I really jam-packed my dishwasher full and I was trying to just 
speed up the cleaning process and cut a few corners because it was a bit late at night but I did pay for it the next day when I turned on the dishwasher because after the cycle was finished I noticed the pod did not dissolve and there was just some weird type of greasy grime on the dishes so I had to go through each dish and make sure that it was clean and then I had to put a whole bunch back into the dishwasher so if you are packing your dishwasher definitely do not pack it full like I have because you may not get the best cleaning experience uh, when you do have it that full and loaded. There's one thing I hate doing when it comes to cleaning dishes is cleaning out the drains because we do rinse off our dishes and everything gets collected into this little drain stopper. It's just so gross to me and I hate doing it. I don't have a garbage disposal, it'd be so much more convenient, but I try to get through it as quickly as possible, dump it out and then put it right back in. But let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. I found these really great scrubbing pads at a local shop and I've had a few of them for years and after a while I had to get replacements but I wasn't sure if they would still have them but when I was in the aisles of Canadian Tire I stumbled across them and I was so happy because I just absolutely love them. They're one of those things that once you use them you can't go back to using regular scrubbing pads because they're abrasive enough to clean your dishes but they're also soft enough where it doesn't scratch so definitely a great find and definitely something I would highly recommend if you find them and to pick them up they're really inexpensive but you can get a lot of use out of them
So when it comes to my nighttime cleanup of the kitchen, it's something I definitely have to do before I go to bed because I don't want to wake up the next morning to a messy kitchen. So I always go through, wash my dishes and give the countertops a good wipe down. And this is the largest room in the downstairs area. So once this room is clean, the rest of the house feels really clean. So this is just my regular routine, what I do on a nightly basis, just so this way I wake up, the kitchen's fresh and ready to use for another day. So I learned a really great tip when it comes to displaying your fruits in a fruit bowl on your counter is separate your bananas and your apples because apples have a gas called ethylene that really speeds up the ripening of other fruits such as bananas. So if you ever have an apple with banana side by side, you may notice that your bananas are going brown rather quickly. So if you separate them, you can prolong the life of your banana and not have them spoil so quickly. But if you want to do the opposite and you really want to have an over ripened banana, you can just toss an apple in and it should help speed up the process. So here's a scrubbing pad that I was using to wash my dishes and I'm just scrubbing off any dried up messes on the top of my stove and as I said they're abrasive but they won't scratch so they're perfect for this type of surface and I just gave it a quick wipe down with my Swedish dish cloth. So an hour and a half later I am finally finished cleaning my kitchen. It's nice and fresh. I feel great knowing it's nice and clean for the next morning. So here are a few shots of the after and I'm just gonna let the dishes dry overnight but I'm glad they're done and I'm glad that the kitchen is clean because after I finish this I just sit back and relax, enjoyed some TV before heading off to bed. So I really hope you enjoyed today's nighttime kitchen clean with me and I definitely would love to see you next week when I upload my next video next Sunday. So I'll see you then. Bye!